Hello, welcome to the shack of M1GAO and GAOCV. Today we're testing uh, G3XBM's uh, 472 kHz transverter, uh, which is what you can see, our take on it. Uh, it's using an IRF 640 FET uh, and the auxiliary or the external low pass filter in the background. Uh, the scope's hooked up to the output of the, uh, the low pass filters, so just before it goes into the antenna. The antenna's an inverted L that's uh, documented on the website. There should be a link in the, in the comments bit below. Um, got the 817 uh, in lower sideband, right at the very top of the band, so the sideband should all be in in the uh, in the band and, uh, and the Linko uh, powering the, the transceiver and the uh, and the transverter as well. So using it in split mode, when we transmit, the uh, the radio will change to uh, in the middle of 80 meters um, into the uh, transverter, and hopefully uh, some some uh, uh, 472 kilohertz will come out the back. Um, Dave G7 UVW is going to be listening on uh, on 472 for us. He's about uh, about five or six miles away, and uh, hopefully he's going to sort of cross band with us on two meters, just give us an audio report. Uh, so I don't hold out much hope for calling CQ. Okay, doke. Right, so let's give it a go. Uh, should be able to see the, uh, the side band output in the background. Golf Seven United Victor Whiskey Mike One Golf Echo Oscar calling. Yep, Golf Seven United Victor Whiskey returning. Evening, David. Um, just a quick uh, YouTube video to uh, show what this uh, transverter is running. Um, hopefully, it's uh, sounding okay with you. Just give us a, an audio report and a and a and a, and a, and a signal report if you can from the uh, from the radio. Um, yeah, as I say, I think it's pushing uh, about 80, 87, 88 volts peak into 50 ohms. So not uh, not too bad at all. That's according to the scope, anyway. Uh, G7 UVW M1 GEO. G7 UVW returning. Okay, George, yeah, all copied. Audio sounds okay. Uh, haven't got the preamp in on, on the uh, on the 703, so uh, you're uh, peaking just barely above the noise, but uh, perfectly readable and the audio sounds fine, no distortion. Yeah, okay, Dave, thank you very much for that. Uh, was having a bit of trouble with, uh, with, with a, bit, a bit of distortion at the low level, but uh, seems to have seem to have ironed it out, <laughs> changed a couple of resistors in the uh, driving the FET and some other bits and pieces and it seems to be okay. So uh, yeah, could have been I guess a bit of uh, bit of 80 metres leaking through close as well, but uh, yep, okay matey, I uh, think we count that as a success. G7 UVW, Mike 1, Golf, Echo, Oscar, located Hornchurch, Essex. Yeah, I think this definitely counts as a successful crossband, George, uh, 7.3s for now and catch you in a while. OK, Dave, thanks very much. Catch you further down. M1 GEO QRT. Mike Zero, Uniform Kilo Delta, uh, with G7 UVW. This is Mike 1, Golf, Echo Oscar testing. Hopefully uh, Johnny can, can hear me. Fingers uh, crossed, and this is not sounding too bad. Uh, just running an 817 here, uh, feeding the G3 XPS transverter. Um, measures up about uh, 16 watts into an inverted L. Um, and there is about uh, 13 or 14 metres up a tree and then uh, 30 odd metres from the end of the garden back to the house uh, the few radials out so that's what the, uh, the antenna is um, hopefully, uh, hopefully you're getting me OK uh, M0 UKD G7 UVW M1 GEO uh, located Horn Church in the county of Essex something kind of say yeah, hopefully uh, you can hear me a bit better that time. As I say, I think it's, uh, think it's an issue when you're not driving the thing too hard, so there's no compressor on the A17 either, which would be beneficial in this sort of circumstance, keep the average power up, but uh, yeah, M0UKD, G7UVW, M1GEO.